So here's my analysis for Euro USD using TradingView. Um, just a little bit about TradingView. It's a really good software for charting and uh, doing some analysis when it comes to making better trading decisions. Uh, this has really helped me out with just keeping things simple. Uh, it's a really good tool. These guys always try and optimize. Well, not try, they do optimize. They're always optimizing. They're adding new brokers to their platform, uh, which is really good because I can use my broker and connect over here on TradingView and execute my trades, which is really nice and convenient. I can add notes on here. I can have do a lot of drawings on here it's basically paint for traders which is really nice and uh, fun and convenient uh, you can change uh, your bar styles you can look at line charts you can look at uh, other chart other styles of charts you can put a few indicators on here uh, it's really nice you can even set alerts it's really cool now they got a free version that you can use which is really really good good enough to use you can use that which does the job quite nicely. Uh, you can have watch lists, but if you want a little bit more juice, if you want, if you're a little bit more of a sophisticated trader, you like your indicators, uh, you actually want to do a little bit of back testing and look at some replay, you know, like do like uh, play the market over for the past day and, and, and look at some back testing, look at how prices moved in that. Well, then you have to, you would probably want to get a subscription for that. Um, it's, uh, it's not that much actually, it's quite affordable. And if you want to do that, use my link below. It will, it will give you, you get $30 and then I also get $30 for that as well. got to be transparent, but the cool thing is you can generate your own referral link and then pass it on over. You don't have to, you don't have to be like an affiliate marketer. Uh, you don't have to be, have like an affiliate program or anything like that. In a way, this is kind of like it, if you want to call it, but, um, yeah, even if you, uh, yeah. So anyways. Let's dive into it. Let's look at your USD and how it's doing within the past week. I like to start off broad and then go narrow and uh, and go from there. And I usually and what I'm going to be showing you is uh, our price points, uh, uh, price uh, levels that it's been hitting at or support and resistance. A lot of people call it support and resistance. Price levels, support and resistance doesn't matter. It all leads to the same thing, really. So looking at it, we can see an obvious downtrend. It's been trending down quite a bit. Euro has been really weak for the past few weeks and a month. Um, there's been a lot going on with this currency. A lot of eyes are looking at it. And uh, yeah, it seems like it seems like, though, however, more recently, we're seeing a little bit of sideways movement. Uh, so what I like to do first is plot the low points. So I like to plot this low point here, which is the 0.96 level, as well as look at the past swings. Now we've seen some swings here, which have been respected. You know, we see a swing back up to this, this price area, this price level, and it's been coming down. Now we do see a bit of a violation as, you know, prices come up really deep. And then we saw a big move down and now we're seeing a real choppy-ish pullback. So not so I'm not gonna really plot this price level or this swing here just because it's been violated, it's been it's been broken, but I will plot this uh, this high point, the high the top area here. And I like to do at the top of the wicks. I know over here don't really have the wick, but I just have it here to make it look pretty. <laughs> But that's not what trading is about. It's not about making it look pretty. It's actually about making sure we're exact over here. So yeah, I like to include the wicks just because if you go to the lower time frames, you, those wicks will turn into bodies anyway. So I I include the wicks. I know some people just include the body. I think it depends on what you're trading. I am more of a short term trader, but I do like to start off broad just to have some reference points and know okay, well where where are these traders taking price? Where could we see a, a minor reversal? Where could we see a reaction? So that's where I like to start off broad and then go narrow from there. Now, if we look at the daily, we're seeing some higher highs being made. Uh, you, could, you can even say this is a bit of a channel. We are seeing some movement up, although it's not really like a trend movement just because these pullbacks are really deep. So this could be just a minor, minor pullback on the long term, and we could see a move down continue. But uh, I'm gonna. I'm looking first at what's going on right now. So as we can see, there's a big push from these buyers. We had these sellers come in for a few days, and all of a sudden, that was that, those orders were all basically eaten up. 
uh, by these buyers. So I'm going to put a reference point around here just because that's a pretty major move. That is a uh, big reaction and a good reference point and a good sort of kind of memory spot. So right around this level, right around the 0.97, we'll go four, four or even five. Uh, between, we'll go four just to keep it nice and simple and round. And I also like to plot the most recent high point here because that's still a big area and that's a key point of interest as well. So now going down to the four hour, you can see that we saw some choppy movement down, some of the selling occur, and then all of a sudden a big push up from these buyers and it just happened to stop here. Now I'm gonna also include this wick as a reference point on top of that because myself I'm more of a shorter term trader I look at the five minute to to make my entries but uh, so I do keep reference points at the four minute just because these guys could show up on the lower time frame and take the price down and this actually could be a big enough move to potentially have a to put on a short trade uh, for for an intraday trade for a short term trade now um, a little disclaimer before I go any for, any further, uh, this is all for educational purposes only. I'm not a professional. I'm not um, a financial advisor of any sort. I'm just a retail trader. And any advice that I give is for educational purposes only. If you do decide to take action and make some trades based on these ideas, then just understand that it is solely your responsibility. You're the one pressing the buy or sell button at the end of the day. And uh, make sure you use risk capital. Make sure you're not risking, you know, like your like 50% of your account on one trade. Uh, we don't want to. You don't want to blow up your account. You want to make sure you tra you're alive and your account's alive to trade another day. Uh, remember, this is a professional sport. A lot of people have spent a lot of time and effort, and and you're competing against some of the sharpest minds out there. So you want to make sure that you do your due diligence, you do your homework and uh, take trading treat trading like a business. So now that that's out of the way, <clears throat> let's go in a little bit deeper. Let's look at the one hour and see what we have. We see some nice higher movements. So it looks like there's still some strength to the upside and these guys could potentially break through above this level. Now, who knows, we might still, we might see a major reaction. Maybe we'll wait until the market opens, but this there's no increase in volume, which means that these buyers are basically in control. This guy who started it here with this large volume is kind of in control and other and no action is being taken. No new buyers, no new sellers are coming in. So we could see this move continue forward. Now, if we go down to the 15 minute, we can see this move continue forward even more, still an uptrend, basically the same thing that we saw in the one hour. So I'm gonna go back to the one hour actually and just plot um, even if we go into the 15 minute actually before we go there you can even plot this point here this is a this is a good price swing where traders have come in and i'm drawing this because to show that you know other traders also look at support and resistance and they also trade based off of this method as well as you can see it can be pretty profitable as long as you include other factors there's other obviously other factors that are involved uh, such as news you know the time of day in the market market hours and all that kind of stuff and making sure you're in the right mindset. That's also very important. So I'm going to plot this as well. This is a major point to keep in mind. I would also look at this as well. So I'll move this over just because this, this swing has already been passed. So I would pay more attention to the more most recent swing, which could be around this area because it is a bit of a swing. Like it's not obviously that prominent, I could also look at here. So maybe I'll keep that band right up there, right around there. We might see a pullback and a bit of a reaction at that level. In fact, even if we go into the one hour, that would hold valid. That's actually more valid than the other one. Uh, I like to make my plots on the one hour and then that's it, not go any deeper than that. If you're a one minute trader, then maybe the 15 minute is, is, uh, some, is uh, something to keep in mind or to be interested in. But for me, I just go as far as the one hour and then that's it. I don't go any further just because the charts start to get a little bit messy and confusing and it just puts my trade out, trades out of whack. <laughs> so I like to keep things simple and uh, go as far as that. So that is my analysis on where this price could go. 
as you can see it's a little bit choppy we could go up but it's it is could just be a flag just kind of like a pullback sort of flag and then we see could see price go further on the longer time frame now if I am, for example, traveling, just to change gears a little bit, if I'm traveling and I am uh, a U.S. citizen I and going to Europe, I would probably be holding on to my U.S. dollars, <laughs> as, for now at least, for now. Um, but as we can see, there's a big long wick here, so which could mean that we could next week see some pullback and some aggressive... Uh, buying on the on the euro on the euro side so if i am if i were to exchange some money whether i'm going traveling to europe or not i would probably be be waiting and to see how this price action holds up next week now if you're traveling really shortly then different story altogether you might want to exchange money and currency sooner but uh, if I was a U.S. citizen, I, I would probably sell off a little bit of my U.S. dollars to Euro uh, just because we are we could see some pullback here. And then eventually I would look to look to transfer back into U.S. dollars for the long term. Um, yeah. So so how would how I would do that, in fact, because I know these days like, you know, currency rates and everything and what the when you go to one of those currency exchanges uh, they offer like the rates are not that good i haven't found any really good i've rarely found some really good competitive rates and i've had to look all over like i spent i would spend like almost like half the day when i'm trying to exchange currency looking at all finding finding the best place to go to and uh, i come across this app which actually saves me so much time and effort to do all that and it's called wise it used to be called transfer wise but it's called wise and uh, it's a really cool app i really like it it's really easy to use very efficient um, it saves me so much on fees and just uh, the spread the difference in uh, in quotes that they have i like to use trading view to compare the quotes and then and then look at the quote on there to see if it's accurate now of course there's going to be some discrepancy some difference because they got to make their money somehow so so that's all right but these guys offer really competitive rates like probably the lowest fees i have seen and uh, it's really easy to use really user friendly I, it's really quick to transfer money i'm able to transfer money from my bank account to my wise account within less than a day sometimes within like an hour uh, so it's really quick. I love that part. And uh, it's they have multiple accounts, so you can hold different currency accounts. So you can switch back and forth really easily, really quickly. Um, it doesn't take long at all. And on top of that, you can send money to your friends really easily, really quickly. Actually, sometimes, like, sometimes I, when I send money to to some of my friends, it takes, like, almost, it's, it's like, within a day. And they have... And, you know, I'm, I'm transferring money from like a Canadian bank account over to their Korean bank account. And it's really flawless. And it, all the, the whole transaction happens within a day. So it's really easy to use. You can even track the transactions. Um, they got a few other cool features. Uh, very easy, very simple. And uh, if you use my link below to sign up, you get a, you can send up to $800, $800 for free without paying any fees, which is actually really cool and really beneficial. On top of that, I do receive $115 if you and two other people um, send $300 or more. Now that's a referral link. So if you sign up, you can also use that same, use that referral link for, from your account and send that over and also piggyback and get the same benefits and bonuses as well. So I highly recommend you use it or at least check it out. And uh, again, use my link below. Also use my link below if you are interested in TradingView. And uh, you know, I highly recommend you test out the free version, play around with the software, see if you like it, uh, see if it if it works, there's a lot of cool things you can use for free. But if you want a little bit more juice, if you are a little bit more of the sophisticated trader, you want some more indicators, you want to take advantage of the replay function where you can replay the day's price action, which is really cool if you want to do some back testing and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can add multiple watch lists. All, some, all, all really cool extra features that you can use. You do have to, it's not that expensive when you do the paid subscription. And if you use my link to sign up for that paid subscription, then you get $30 off, I get $30 off. 
and you can pass on that you can pass on your own link same kind of thing with wise where you can pass on your link and you can you can other friends can sign up using that link and then you get thirty dollars off they do so it kind of passes on so it's really good kind of savings tool to use highly recommend you use it if you do go for it and um yeah so if you do find value in this content hit the like button leave a comment below um, subscribe i'll be posting up more videos like these giving out analysis at the end of the week on where price has gone where price could be going and uh, if there are any other pairs you'd like me to review please send a comment uh, leave a leave a comment below and i'll be more than happy to make a detailed video about um, you know some price analysis on the charts using this simple uh, support and resistance slash price level plotting uh, method <laughs> anyways take care have a good day good week and uh, trade simple